Jesus in Burlington, Vermont. See more better with free prescription lenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seen Mo Better, looking Mo Better. And I'm going to show everyone else how to bring that love and feeling. When I cut your Zeiss Photo Fusion brown lenses with DuraVision Chrome Anti Glare for your Oakley, the 8046 Airdrop in color 11, Satin Cortine. I should preface by saying that. I am an authorized Oakley dealer, but as a small independent optician, I've been told that I cannot legally post pictures of frames with prices on my website. So you can do what Jesus did. Go to the contact me page of the website. Tell me what frame, model number, size, and color you want, and I will order it for you. We'll check on the price and availability, and then order it for you. Again, this is the Oakley 8046 size 53 18 bridge. This is the airdrop in color 11 which is the satin cortine, which is kind of a copper color. I'm going to go ahead and program this shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 2445. Pop out the original demo lenses of which you will receive everything. Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker and hit start. A little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any genuine authentic Oakley frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance you'll be reimbursed your out of network insurance reimbursement or if you have a health savings account flex dollars you'll get the full reimbursement for that. So in just a moment that shape will pop up onto the computer screen. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Enter your pupillary distance, which is a total of 61, divided by 2 is 30.5. My computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the minus button until we get there. I do want to raise the optical center height up to 18. I'm going to mark that on there. Actually, 18.5. We're going to go 2.5 above. So, let's get your lenses prepped. Your right eye is minus 1, minus 75 at 169. Minus 1, minus 75 at... 169 we get everything done in there okay that's on zero take the lens out of the protective packet place your lens into the sleeve did i put it on i gotta put it on minus one minus one on the power drum rotate into the spherical component of your prescription comes into view first check your astigmatism correction i'll explain what all that means a little bit later it means you need glasses that's what it means Put three dots on your lenses, which are difficult for you to see, so I'm going to mark that. And this is the right lens. Place it on the platform. Do the same thing now for the left lens, which reads minus 75, minus one and a quarter at 170, minus 75, minus one and a quarter at 170. A very close axis on there. Take the lens out of the packet. Put it on minus 75. Double check everything. Yes. Rotate it again till the spherical component comes into view first. Put the same three dots on your lenses. Label this one L. And if you guys missed any of that, look, I got ink on my finger. Let me recap. So, ooh, there's a tissue there. Let's, let's clear that smudge off. No way to start cutting lenses. So, the nice thing about Zeiss, they document everything, so I'm always going to highlight that. Your right eye, minus 1, minus 75 at 169. Minus 1, minus 75. These are the Photo Fusion Brown. And with DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare, your left, minus 75, minus 125. DuraVision Chrome, Photo Fusion Brown. And you're going to get these packets. And of course, this is your right eye. This is the left eye. And again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> so, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got some here. Put those back in the tray. Pull this away. The black side is the sticky side. Put this one onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. On the back, that silver button is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time, it's going to attach itself to something magnetical there in the arm. And the reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there perfectly. So I'm going to do that. Get everything lined up there where it should be. I'll check to make sure the lens is large enough, and it is. 
I'm going to hit that button. The arm's going to come down, place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. For the lens that ain't right, pull the paper away, make the black side sticky, line up the magnet. Same pupillary distance for your left eye as it was for the right. That has mirrored over. Check to make sure the lens is large enough. It is. Just a little thing I always like to do. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. Look, I cleaned it since my last video. Look at that inside. Look how clean it is down there. No more just yuck. That's what I'm going to call it. Yuck. But yeah, it costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. But the cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center that has that channel is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and wake up the computer. Job ID number 2445. 2445, or as I like to call it, installment 2445 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So make sure you watch the other videos as they come out. So these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of your lens. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I will put one on the back concave surface of the lens. Press that on there firmly. Place the magnet into the the second time the magnet's going to do its job it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck or by now you know i like to call it the charles because i just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck yeah you moan but you think of a funnier joke so the door closes the clamp shuts the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses making sure that it is large enough to fit into the frame on the first go round and you can see as it's tracing the shape of the right lens in the second go around, it's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which with your prescription and this frame, you should have none. Now in just a moment, you'll see water spraying in the background. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting. However, plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet. Water does spray onto those lenses for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto your lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form on the edge of your lenses. As I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high-impact ballistic grade lens material. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection. In fact, Zeiss lenses have the highest amount of UV protection offered by any manufacturer. Theirs goes to 400 nanometers of protection. You have sunglass quality protection in a clear lens. Now you also have 30 to 40 percent blue light protection because of the photo fusion element of this lens. But we know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you don't need, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you need to reapply every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. The Zeiss, lens. Zeiss invented the photochromic lens. They invented the anti-glare coating. They currently have more colors currently available in the Generation 8 technology where they turn darker when you go outside faster and then clearer when you come back inside. They're available in gray, brown, green, blue. What did I leave out? No, that's it. Gray, brown, green, and blue. Now check this one out. I've got the blue in my Oakleys. I'm going to go ahead and activate them while I was doing the, the safety bevel. You're getting the brown in here to match that. I loves me some blue if you've seen any of my videos. So, look how fast those ten things turn. Of course, a minute from now, they'll be back to clear. But I've got the Photo Fusion Blue. That is a hot color right now. Ooh, everything looks blue when I put them on. I if I can put them over the camera. Does everything look blue to y'all? Of course, I can't see what you guys are seeing. Of course, it's got my prescription in there, so I'm sure that's getting kind of wonky. 
So it is getting the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens. In just a moment, I will take the lens out, see if it fits first time around. I may need to take it down some more. But first I will open this door with my mind. You like that? I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can't, I just have to stare at it for a couple hours and then I can do it. So let's see if it fits first time around. The reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens, if this lens were too large and does not fit, I don't want any rough edges coming into contact with your frame as I force the lens in there and it does not want to go. So I'm gonna take it down another 10th of a millimeter hit the retouch button. As you can see, the right lens takes a little bit longer. Once we get the size of the right perfected, then we'll flip it over and cut the left, and that should go in first time. But uh, it's a corny saying, but the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra at the beginning. I could heat the frame up to make it pliable and easy to pop in, but I like to do what's known as a cold mount. You can ask my wife that, she'll tell you. But if I heat the frame up, the, frame, the lens will cause the frame to stretch in every direction. That gives you an ugly cosmetic look as well as shortening the life of the frame. So I want to make sure that the lens easily slips in. Because years from now, I can cut lenses for your frame based on this shape and mail them right to your home. You'll be able to pop these out and put the new ones in. So easy. A cave dweller. <laughs> I do it. A concave dweller. So Jesus, I want you to open the door with your mind this time. Come on, concentrate, Jesus, concentrate. Hey, you did it, you did it. Okay, so. Dry everything off. Let's see if it fits this time tuck it in at the outside corner first push down the nose no it is stubborn let's do it some more let's do it some more it's not like you live next door to me so I want to make sure these are perfect and easy for you to take in and out should you ever need to be yeah, a Zeiss invented the photochromic lens I mentioned they sold the technology to other lens companies one of them being Essilor Essilor branded it as transitions Essilor is advertising that the new generation 8 lenses turn as fast as the Zeiss lenses have been turning for the last couple years Zeiss invented the anti-glare coating the machine that applies your anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars it takes 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens so because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. Zeiss has been a leader in precision optics since 1846. Don't take my word for it. It'll be written on this packet when you receive it. All binoculars, all camera lenses, all telescopes, all made by Zeiss getting German performance engineering in these lenses I love mine by the way yeah look at my lenses they're back to clear again so I could have showed you that sooner but I was distracted while working <laughs> someone's got to get some work done here unfortunately it's me I, I gotta renew my contract get a better agent okay so I'm gonna tuck it in at the outside corners first press down the nose there we go it snaps right in we can hey come back here lens we'll flip this over to l place the magnet into the chuck the charles the chucky baby or today i'm calling it the jesus hit the green start button the door closes the clamp shuts the lens again will be traced by the two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame and you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left lens and then this fell off I added my sticker collection throw that back oop Come here, sticker. Come here, sticker. But yeah, you have no edge thickness whatsoever. So, the let's come down here to the lens on, but I only have to spin the axis wheel one degree to get back to 169. Put it in my lens. Let's try that off a little bit more. Put it in my lensometer. Read the power I am getting. Minus one in the reds. There's a little minus sign. The plus powers are in the black just like a roulette table well 
it's not like a roulette table, but we got black and red colors represented. You are nearsighted. You have one diopter of farsighted correction. Everything goes in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1. So you're on the fourth rung of the ladder. Now you have three steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look like the letters P and F. So that is the fine tune knob. The second curvature, we get to 175, one tick mark away from two. That's because you add two like signs together. Or using today's terms, if someone borrowed a dollar from you and they borrowed another 75 cents, they would owe you a dollar 75. That's where at 1.75. Now, your left eye, you only need three steps of far-sided correction, but you have five steps of one and a quarter doctors of astigmatism correction, so that's still going to be a total power of two. These first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from zero to 180 for both your right and left eye. A straight line is zero to 90 to 180. We're going to turn that fine-tune knob almost all the way to the 180 meridian to 169 for the right, 170 for the left. Now this frame, the Oakley 8046 Airdrop, sells for 173. It does tax-free. Everything is tax-free with me, but it sells for 173 with one free pair of clear single-vision prescription lenses. The upgrade to Photo Fusion Brown is 99.99. DuraVision Chrome is 69.99 for a total of 342.98 tax-free. The reason why I always point that out now: a lot of sellers on the internet are forced to charge tax. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device and there is no tax on medical devices, so I don't have to charge tax. If you were to purchase these from anyone, $342.98, look I got a new calculator, $342.98 times 7.5%, which is the retail tax in my estate, oh, I can do better than that. Three. 42.98 times 7.5 percent. You'd pay another $25.72, but you don't have to do any of that when you purchase your glasses from me. I offer a VIP service. I am a licensed optician. I went to college to do this. I handle every email. I place every order. I order every lens. I cut every lens. I do what's known as the final inspection over here now to make sure that everything passes. I package everything up, contact you when it's mailed with pictures and a tracking number. Again, so I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner. Push down to the nose. Come on, you want to get in. I know you do. All right, let's try this. Let's do something a little different. I'm tucking in at the nose since it's pointy there and push down here at the edges. Now it snaps in. That comes off. Pull the sticker. Man, these stickers. Come on now. And let's turn the axis wheel to 170. Put it in over... The black dot that got washed off i'm getting where's my flashlight i'm getting lost i'm getting minus 75 one tick mark away from one one and a quarter adopter of astigmatism correction we end up at minus two again now i think the uh pupillary distance got marked off but you have a total of 61 i'm gonna place the pd stick against my thumb on your right lens and when we read it on the left we're getting 61 millimeters so that is cut perfectly now this is the portion every video that as I clean your lenses I mentioned that this is free shipping in Burlington anywhere in America and Burlington Vermont is in America but because of that but when you get these in the mail there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and i'm no different but because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but i'm gonna get these in standard alignment first also known as a three-point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three i set them on the counter and press down there is no wobble now when i say wobble i take my ray-bans down and when I press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. I'm going to flip these over, press down, there is no wobble, close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew. This is what your lenses look like clear before they have been activated. I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to darken. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute, a minute 15. Now this is important, everyone pay attention, all photochromic transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first two weeks they're exposed. The only time they won't darken is if you're behind the windshield of a car. 
Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, that brown lens looks really good in this brown frame. Now, the other thing, they are temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. So, if you've liked this video, do just that. Show me and like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you get notification of future videos with frame and lens combinations. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions, you can just simply go to the Contact Me page of the website. Let me know which Oakley you want, the model number, the size, the color. If you really want to be nice, upload a picture of your prescription with PD, and I can get you every price that you possibly could want with timetables of how, when I can ship. The, you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But hey Zeus in Burlington, Vermont, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley Airdrop 8046 Color 11, the Satin Cortine. And you can see how fast these are turning back to clear while I'm talking. But um, yeah, again, thanks for the purchase with the, your prescription Photofusion brown lenses with DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare. And now everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.